I talk to me Tuesdayers, it is Tuesday, April the 22nd. This is Liza. Um, I'm going to jump right in because I actually have a lot to show you guys. Um, the last time I made a video, a couple of you asked to see my sewing machine. Right now it is not where it belongs because I have to move it when I actually do quilting here um, myself rather than sending it away. But I will insert a picture of Sally right here for you to see. Sally is a singer, quantum stylist, 9960. Um, I have only ever had singer machines. My last machine was a singer, this one is a singer. Um, I would like to try some other brands of machines, but unfortunately they tend to run a little bit more expensive and that's difficult for me to manage. Um, so I stick with the singers because they're a little bit more um, affordable, they're a little bit easier to find as well. I don't have to order them specific from certain places. I can kind of, I got it on Amazon. Um, so I got free shipping with it because I ordered it on Amazon. Um, so that's why I use Singer machines is just because they're so easy. I've heard good things and bad things about Singers. It's just really whatever. Um, one day I'll probably try some other brands of machines, but for right now I can only have one machine. That's really all the space I have for. Um, so I'll just stick to my one machine right now. You never know. Maybe one day I'll get a larger space and be able to have more. But um, yeah, so that is Sally to let everybody know. Sally is right here right now and normally she's not. Um, I'll insert a picture of what my studio looks like right now here. Basically, because of where I have to have my sewing machine in my space, um, there's just not space behind it for quilts to go through when I actually quilt them. So I have to bring out a foldable table that I keep, um, move my sewing machine out from where it normally sits, just so I have the space to be able to actually quilt pieces when I quilt them here. So normally I quilt two or three quilts at a time. Um, normally they just sit and wait. I have two quilts right now that were special orders that I am currently working on and finishing up. Um, right now, this one is just waiting to be bound, but I am waiting for um, the customer to get back on me. I like to add uh, personal messages on the quilt labels for customers um, so that when they give them as gifts, there's that personal touch to it for them that it just doesn't say, you know, the name of my company and such on there. Um, but this is the Minky Challenge. Um, it's about 40 by 50. Um, about. I don't know the exact measurements. Um, but this was very easily quilted. I just did straight line quilting in an X pattern and done and done. Um, I didn't want to get too technical with this one because it is Minky and Minky is the bane of my existence. <laughs> Um, but it's done. All it has to be is bound now. Um, I'm going to bind it in a black binding to kind of offset all the purple because the backing fabric is purple as well. Um, this is just plain cotton that it was backed with. Um, so this one is almost done. Um, the next one I'm working on, I still have a little bit of quilting to do on it. I'm going to hide this top piece because this is a gift for someone. Um, it's a gift, the client's giving this as a gift, and they don't know if she follows Handmade Heart. So I don't know if she'll end up seeing this video or not, but we're gonna keep it a secret. Um, so here's what that looks like. I've got it folded down because it's a personalized name up there that I don't wanna show. Um, but yeah, you can see it's the exact same pattern as the owl quilt. Um, two and a half inch strips that create, well, two inch strips, four inch uh, center piece, and then the applique piece up here. Um, I am, basically what I did is in these sections, I did straight line quilting, um, stitch in the ditch, um, quilting for these pieces. But I wanted to do something a little bit special because I thought the plain, this is a solid purple that I used there. Um, and it seemed a little plain, 
So I'm going to do some free motion quilting, which is not my specialty. So um, I actually draw my free motion quilting out um, and then follow the lines with that. And sometimes it looks like I hope it does and sometimes it doesn't. I'm really hoping this one turns out well. Um, but I'm going to do a daisy pattern and you can see I've got some of that started. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Um, but I've got some of that started in there. Maybe. Kind of, sort of. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but it's the black one, that white um, pen that I did on there. I didn't like the pattern I was doing. So I started over and I'm doing the, um, the black pattern now. And then over here where the name and the applique flower is, um, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with that. It needs a little bit of quilting in there, um, but I don't quite know what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to put this down here while I flip it over. I don't want to risk showing the name. <laughs> On the back, uh, it's a minky backing. It's just that dotted minky. So it was another one of those that's been kind of pinned and spray basted and annoying. Um, <laughs> but I'm good with minky um, as long as I can spray baste it and like pin it to oblivion. I'm alright with it. It just takes forever to work with, which drives me bonkers because I can't just sew it. I actually have to pin it and ugh, I don't like doing that. Um, another thing that I've gotten accomplished is Marianne Rock Islander, who also does TTMT, um, she is on her Instagram, opened up a dumpling pouch swap um, that is all about strawberries. Um, I decided to go ahead and join that. Not that I didn't have enough to already do. I went ahead and joined that. Um, so basically you make this dumpling pouch um, and then you fill it up with all things strawberry. You know, other handmade items, uh, strawberry flavored items, strawberry scented items, things like that. So I got my pouch finished. Um, I'm still working on a few things um, that I'm going to include with it for my partner. It's a mystery who your uh, partner is. Um, so I'm not going to say whether my partner is another TTMT -er or not. Um, but this is the pouch that I made and it has some of the strawberry items in it already that I'm sending, which is why it's kind of rigid. But there's that. Wow, lighting is really bad right now. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> It's a little overcast outside, so I'm not getting as much sunlight as I normally do. It is hotter than blazes, but I mean, we're in like the 80s today, but apparently I don't have enough light. Um, so that's the pouch. Um, basically the little, uh, it's strawberry fabric, it's the pole fabric, so they can use it as like a cosmetic bag or something if they want to. Um, and then the little ladybug that's on there. Um, I kind of cheated. It's an iron-on transfer. Um, so I kind of cheated a little and did that and didn't make it. Um, but I just ironed it on instead. So that is that little pouch that I did for that. And I um, am planning on making a little needle book that's in the shape of a strawberry for them. As well as, because I'm a paper crafter too, I want to make them a strawberry card. And I also want to make them um, a strawberry little favor box that I can put some strawberry candies in for them as well. Um, so that is that that I have accomplished. Not quite finished with it yet, but I'm getting there. Should be finished with it by the end of the week, kind of like everything else that I'm doing. Um, for some strange reason, I decided to make cards the other day. Um, I needed a break from all of the sewing um, because I do have a lot of sewing projects going on right now. I made a little card set right here. Um, it's in a little gift box. I'm gonna open it up here. I'm gonna open it up and there are five cards that are similar cards um, that all look like this. And it says, thinking of you makes me happy. Um, so I watercolored the background. Um, I used a technique with uh, my ink pads and basically watercolored the background. 
You can see there's a slight bit of pattern back there as well. I used a rubber, a rubber stamp to do that. Um, and then I cut out these little pieces here and stamped those. They're blank on the inside, so people can use them for whatever they want. But there are five of these cards with the envelopes um, in the little gift box here. I hope everybody has been very crafty. Next week I'll be able to show you the finished quilts um, and new projects that I will have started on. This video is almost 16 minutes long. I'm going to edit some of it out, but it's definitely time for me to stop talking. So I hope you guys have a really crafty week. I will see you next time. Uh, bye! Say hi!